This is the CSU Pueblo University Library Quick Class on how to analyze scholarly articles. So why is this worth knowing? Well, scholarly sources form the foundation of academic research. They're used in all majors, all academic disciplines. The problem is that these sources can be really difficult or intimidating to read. That's okay. Once you know how to analyze them, it'll save you time and effort when you're doing your research. The point of this class is to look at the different sections included in a scholarly article. Although this is just a generic example, a lot of these lessons apply to real articles that you'll be reading. First, you'll notice that scholarly articles tend to have very long and specific titles. This is so you know what the article's about without having to read it. Also, the first page should have the journal that published the article, as well as the volume number, issue number, date, and page numbers. Everything you need to cite this source should be included on the first page. Authors are often listed with their credentials and the institution where they work. Because scholarly articles are typically written by college or university professors, those are the kinds of institutions you'll see listed. Also included is their contact information. This is so you can get in touch if you have any questions or criticisms regarding the article. If you see a series of dates, these correspond with the peer review process. This way you can see when the article was first submitted, revised, and finally accepted. This also shows you how slow the peer review process is, often taking months and sometimes years. The abstract on the first page is a short summary of the article that gives away the ending. This is included so you don't have to read the full article only to find out that it doesn't relate to your topic. If you've read the abstract and you're still interested, go ahead and read the rest of the article. However, if you read the abstract and it doesn't seem like it's going to help you, don't bother reading the rest of it. Go find a different source. Moving on to the content of the article, the introduction contains something called a literature review. This is where the authors go through and summarize studies that are related to their own. The point of this is to identify a gap in the research. Every scholarly article aims to discover something new. The literature review summarizes other studies and points out that no one has looked at this particular subject. The method section is where they tell you how they've conducted their experiment. This is done so you can criticize their methods or duplicate the experiment yourself. If you're not conducting your own experiment or you don't know that much about research methods, you can often skip this section. The results section contains all of the data from the experiment. It's common to see a lot of statistics as well as charts and graphs. If the research you're doing relies on quantitative data, the results section is very important. However, if you're not into statistics, the results section can be very difficult and intimidating. That's okay, you can skip this section because it's followed by something called the discussion section. This is where they discuss those results in a way that's a little bit more approachable. The discussion section also includes implications for practice or identifies future research questions that remain to be answered. If you're only going to read one section of an article, read the discussion. It appears at the end of the article, but summarizes everything that came before it. Finally, every scholarly article ends with a reference list. This is helpful because you know that the authors have done their research, but it also gives you a list of related articles that you might want to read. And because they're scholarly sources, they tend to have long titles to help you pick out those that are going to be the most relevant. So that's a quick summary of how to analyze scholarly articles. Again, they can be difficult to read, but you get better at it as time goes on.